Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and I am sure by now you have all heard about the situation between Jeff Nippert and Mike Van Wick. There was an assault at a gym, we will get to that in just a second, and I usually don't dip my toes into this type of negativity, but I thought this was a big situation that all of the other YouTube channels were talking about, so I figured well, you guys probably do want to know my opinion on it. And that's all I can give, guys. I have the same amount of information you guys do. Now, the thing is, Jeff Nippard, he's a small guy. He's five foot two. He's pretty muscled up, I gotta say. But he is a, he's a power lifter, and he's, he's a bodybuilder as well. But he is a YouTube phenom with 8 million, or 5.8 million subscribers. Sure, it'll be 8 million soon. But he makes videos about the whole bro science, the science behind weightlifting, things of that nature. And Mike, he kind of doesn't jive with that world. So they were poking at each other with the videos. He made a video mentioning him. The other guy made a video mentioning him. So they weren't seeing eye to eye, so to speak. So there was an incident where they actually were at the same gym. Now this is, this is interesting. Because this puts me in a situation where, what if I run into one of these top pro bodybuilders? Hey, I've been in the same building as IFBB pro Morgan McDonald. And he's six feet plus, 300 plus pounds. And if I said negative words about that guy, like he needed more quad sweep or something like that, and I seen him at a gym, I probably would not approach him. And if I did say he needed more quad sweep, I probably would deserve a beating. But anyway, anyway, Mike was at the gym and apparently Jeff, by the looks of it, and we don't, I'm not going to show the video footage, but go over to Nick Strength and Power, Louis Marco also posted it. It looks like to me that Jeff is approaching Mike. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. Like, put yourself into that situation where if you had a of online feud with a great big giant man and you're just a small man like Jeff like myself I'm only five foot six just a little fella would you really approach a great big beast of a man knowing that he was upset and didn't like you but having said that what happened next I cannot condone whether I like Mike or not Mike threw his hand and you gotta watch the video footage he thrust his great big hand on poor little Jeff's neck, right on the throat, and just hocked him down. That's what we say, hock, where I'm from. And Jeff went down, went down to the ground. And at this point, I mean, if Mike really wanted to, coulda, coulda did even more damage. But he didn't, but he didn't. So what the heck did Jeff say to Mike in the gym when he approached him? And like I said, there's not much, much more footage than the, than the you're, you're going to see on Next Strength and Power or in Louis Marco. But it looks like from this angle that yes, Jeff did approach him. And like I said, I'm not going to go up to walk up to Morgan if I said that he needed more quad sweeps. And I didn't, by the way, and I would love to go shake Morgan McDonald's hand. And I would definitely not expect him to give me a throat punch. But man, oh man, I think there could have been some other way out of it than that, for sure. But I'm not going to bad talk, Mike. Most certainly not going to bad talk, Jeff, because I just don't know. If he didn't say anything to Mike, he just came up to him and kung fu throat thrusted him, then yeah, I guess that's, that's not that good. But at the end of the day, guys, we have a gentleman that's five foot two inches. Another gentleman, six feet plus, 300 pounds. So there has to be some sort of social pecking order where you got to realize uh, a coyote's not going to go slap a grizzly bear, things of that nature. But we are humans and, you know, big guys can't go around smashing little guys unless they deserve it. In which case, we do not know at this time. Have a nice one.